Welcome to Cloud Essentials for Manufacturing SMBs. I'm Nivea and I'm a technical trainer at AWS. Through the next hour or so, we are going to look at how cloud helps manufacturing SMBs. In this course, we will look at what is the need for digitization of SMBs, how cloud benefits your manufacturing business, an introduction to AWS Cloud, a discussion about smart factory, product and asset optimization, and how to begin your cloud journey with AWS. Let's first understand what is digitization. It is the infusion of technology into the everyday workings of a business. Digitization enables you to accelerate your growth in three key areas. Today, we will zoom into the third area on modernized capabilities. So what are modern capabilities? And in a nutshell, how can they help SMBs cope with some of these scenarios? Here's how. It's the eve of Diwali with high traffic on your website, but excessive lag makes customers leave your site before purchasing anything. Hosting your website on the cloud can help you manage unexpected spikes in web traffic while ensuring high levels of availability and customer experience. Tax season is fast approaching, but your physical computers have been stolen and you lose all records, receipts, and critical documents. Cloud-based data backups can ensure that sensitive data is saved and can be retrieved easily while also ensuring privacy controls with only authorized users being able to access certain categories of data. With your salespeople working from home, their inability to easily access key customer information leads to a drop in sales performance. Migrating critical business applications like CRM, ERP, and HRMS to the cloud can ensure that all users working remotely can securely access critical information from across the organization that they may need to perform key tasks like sales. You anticipate higher demand for your manufactured goods this year, but you don't know how much to produce and end up overproducing. Analytical capabilities like forecasting can help solve complicated optimization problems without requiring having to hire out a specialized forecasting and data analytics team. Customers try to contact you for support, but your staff is too busy to attend to their calls promptly, leading to lower customer satisfaction levels. Digital tools like chatbots can help you provide a better customer experience by allowing you to engage with customers 24 by seven, routing simple requests to automated channels while escalating more serious issues to human operators. Now that we have a brief understanding about modern capabilities, let us deep dive into some of the specific needs that manufacturing SMBs like you face when running your business. Let us look at a few. Regulation and compliance. SMBs have to adhere to security and compliance of their data and their systems. In case of failure to keep up with compliance, it can result in huge fines and also damage to the company's reputation. Keeping up with customers. As time goes by, your customer demands and needs can also change. Keeping up with this is important to stay ahead of competition. You also need to provide quality while keeping up with customer needs. Supply chain management. Manufacturing SMBs need to take care of inventory and most often, outdated technology is used to track supply data. Process automation. In case you plan to automate processes, it can be difficult to get your employees on board due to reasons like training and re-architecting. You also need to take care of the large volume of data available. Let us look at how SMBs can overcome these challenges with cloud. What is cloud? Cloud in general terms is programmable IT resources delivered to you over the internet. 
This can include storage, compute, network, database, and many more. The many services available help address the needs of manufacturing SMBs discussed earlier. Regulation and compliance. Security is ground zero at AWS. AWS follows the shared responsibility model, which we will look at later. You get access to a suite of security mechanisms, including encryption, access control, authentication and authorization, and much more. For instance, Identity and Access Management, or IEM, lets you control access to your AWS resources, while KMS, or Key Management Service, lets you create and manage your encryption keys and integrates with many AWS services to help with encryption. Keeping up with customers. AWS enables you to easily aggregate and store data from various sources. You can run analytic solutions on these to gain business insights and to make decisions. S3 gives you an object store with unlimited data storage. Redshift is a fast petabyte scale data warehouse and Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Supply chain management. Services like Amazon blockchain that helps creating networks and joining public networks and Amazon Forecast, which is a time series forecasting service based on machine learning, provides visibility into your supply chain needs and trace your production process. Process automation. With the various services available from AWS, it is easy to automate your repetitive processes, including deploying resources for your needs and refocus on your business. Automate your infrastructure deployment using JSON or YAML templates using CloudFormation. Manage configuration and patching of your machines using Systems Manager. So what could be the possible challenges of cloud adoption when it comes to manufacturing SMBs? Organizations might fear that their current regulations might be difficult to implement on cloud. In addition, your IT team might not be up to date with the existing cloud technologies, making it difficult to implement. Organizations also might fear unnecessary costs and may have a misconception about the pricing and cost estimates on cloud. Also, fear of lack of support for cloud migrations and ongoing projects can also be a challenge. So far, we have been talking about how SMBs and manufacturing SMBs in particular benefit from digitization. We saw how cloud helps and also few challenges of cloud adoption. Let us now see how AWS can help solve these challenges. I'm sure there is hardly anyone here who might not have heard about Amazon. Amazon is built on years of trust and customer obsession. In 2006, AWS was launched as the cloud service provider and AWS incorporates years of learning from Amazon. AWS offers reliable, scalable, and inexpensive cloud services. AWS helps manufacturing SMBs overcome the many challenges of cloud adoption, from security options and compliance programs, pricing models and extensive training and support. Let us look at how AWS helps SMBs. AWS compliance empowers customers to understand the robust controls in place at AWS to maintain security and data protection in the AWS cloud. When systems are built in the AWS cloud, AWS and customers share compliance responsibilities. AWS computing environments are continuously audited with certifications from accreditation bodies across geographies and verticals. Security and compliance are shared responsibilities between AWS and the customer. Depending on the services deployed, this shared model can help relieve the customer's operational burden. This is because AWS operates, manages, and controls the components from the host operating system 
and virtualization layer down to the physical security of the facilities in which the service operates. The customer assumes responsibility and management of the guest operating system, including updates and security patches and other associated application software in addition to the configuration of the AWS provided security group firewall. AWS follows the pay as you go model. If you need a resource, you can provision it on demand and once done with your use, you can shut down the same. You pay for what you're using and does not have any upfront investment requirement. Another pricing concept on AWS is that if you reserve, you pay less. If you were aware of your requirements, reserving gives you more pricing benefits. Some services, such as AWS Data Transfer and Amazon S3, have volume pricing tiers across certain usage dimensions that give you lower prices the more you use the service. If you are new to AWS and wish to get started, the free tier is a wonderful option. It lets you use AWS services and have a hands-on experience or create demo projects. Based on the service, you might get access to certain amount of usage of a service for free for the first 12 months of account creation, certain amount of usage always, or certain amount of usage when a new service trial is ongoing. You can also create a quick estimate of the expected AWS cost using the pricing calculator before actually deploying the services. Simply choose the service you will be using, input the usage details, and you get an estimate of your expected costs. AWS has extensive trainings available on various topics and workshops to learn more about AWS Cloud. The documentation and FAQs available gives you information from the very basics of a service, tutorials, and must-know features. AWS also has extensive support in terms of training, technical and white paper guidance, platforms like AWS Support and AWS Repost to help with any guidance and queries that you may have. You get to simply log into the AWS console, which is a GUI-based interface, or use the programmatic approaches like the CLI, the SDK, or direct API calls to launch your AWS services on demand. Now, let us look at how AWS is used in an Amazon fulfillment center. Ever wonder how Amazon gets your packages to you so quickly? It's done with a symphony of machine learning, automation, and our amazing associates. Join us as we see that in action in an Amazon fulfillment center. Welcome to an Amazon Robotics Sortable Fulfillment Center. This FC is one of more than 50 worldwide, where robots work alongside our amazing employees. Let's go inside. At Amazon, we're customer obsessed. We're also obsessed with the safety of our employees. In April of 2020, Amazon began enhancing its temperature screening process by implementing thermal camera systems throughout multiple business lines in North America. Now that our temperature is not detected as high, we're free to continue the tour. Today, we're going to follow the path of products from where they're received, stowed, then picked, packed, and put on a truck for distribution. The inbound process starts with forecasting and ordering before anything arrives to the FC. Powered by AWS, Amazon's forecasting engine is used for over 400 million products daily. Let's go to the receiving area. As you'll see, we put a lot of energy into our logistics. It's a symphony of people, AWS, software, and other high-tech components. The result is a coordination between our great employees and the finely honed computer systems we've evolved for more than 20 years. Our employees are the heart and soul of our operation. Some are military veterans. Some are active members of the community. Some are employees that work here with their loved ones. They're all amazing. 
Trailers full of vendor and small and medium business seller items arrive at these bay doors by appointment. Employees unload the trailers and begin the process of staging items located at their receiving workstations. This FC carries millions of items of inventory, and using the service known as Amazon Aurora, we manage our inventory transactions and other relational database needs. At this station, you can see how our inbound associate receives a product and how those products are stowed in our inventory. Amazon robotic drive units are activated when an associate logs into their workstation to perform their task. Storage pods arrive facing the correct side to stow items into inventory. Every time an associate touches a product, they scan a unique barcode for that item, which we call the Amazon Standard Identification Number, or ASIN. That's stored in our inventory system, so we know what the quantity and location of that item is at any given time. To manage our inventory history, we use Amazon Neptune, a fast, reliable, fully managed graph database service from AWS. Now, you might expect that we'd organize this in a way where similar items are stowed together. For example, all electronics would be stored in the same section. However, at Amazon, we've found that it's more efficient to stow products using a randomized method. That's why you'll see a variety of items in each inventory bin. Once that process has been completed, a physical and digital match is created in our systems. So just a few seconds after an item is stowed, you can order it on Amazon.com. Looking at a station next door, we see a great example of computer vision helping with automation. When an associate scans an item, you'll see magenta lights over some of the bins in the pod. This lets the associate know not to place that item in those locations, as artificial intelligence-driven logic has determined that the bin is full, that placing an item there may negatively impact the pod's overall weight distribution, or that a visually similar item is there and may cause confusion later when an associate needs to pick the item. The associate can then place the item in any of the other bins. But computer vision doesn't stop there. It will also detect what bin the associate reached into and knows where that item is placed. As one final step, it will take a picture of the pod and use image recognition to count the number of items in the bin, making sure the count matches what is recorded in our tracking systems. When the machine learning model has low confidence, it sends images to people to classify and train more ground truth data for our machine learning model, which operates in Amazon SageMaker and Amazon SageMaker Ground Truth from AWS. This allows us to perform ongoing inventory reconciliation, avoiding the scheduled inventory counts that are often done at least once a year at other organizations. Now, what's up with those robots we see moving the pods around? There are thousands of robot drive units spread throughout each floor, helping associates fulfill customer orders daily. Amazon Robotics operate in dedicated fenced-off areas within the FC, which account for about 65% of the facility's total square footage. The drive units travel to various locations in our FC to pick up mobile shelves of product and deliver them to employees who are working at ergonomic workstations. To navigate, they read 2D barcodes on the floor, and locations are tracked in real time using our own created robotic operating software. Our Amazon Robotics team has developed more than 100 services to support operations and uses AWS extensively in the Amazon fulfillment centers. Only specially trained individuals wearing custom safety equipment are allowed to enter this area, but on our virtual tour, we're allowed to walk through this restricted area. Each sortable FC has over 1 million unique items, helping us with our goal to provide Earth's largest selection. You may be thinking, okay, robots are great, but I just ordered an item, how is it picked? To answer that, let's go to a pick station. Here we see a similar layout as our stow station. Once you hit the buy button on amazon.com, our systems will queue the robots to find the inventory pod with the item you ordered. Once that item has been identified, the robot will bring it to our associate. A screen at the associate station will show them a picture and quantity of the item they need to pick. The same visual bin inspection system is used as during stow, except this time, instead of lighting up bins where items should not be placed, the system lights up in a white light where that item is. The associate identifies and grabs the item, placing it in the yellow tote signified by the green light and pushes the button acknowledging that the item was placed there. 
When the system detects that the tote is full, the light flashes and the associate pushes the full tote back to a series of conveyors and replaces it with a new one that was automatically brought to their station. At this stage, associates are picking items for different customers in batches. The two types of picking processes we focus on are single item orders and multiple item orders. The single item orders contain only one item per customer order. We fill up a yellow tote full of single item orders weighing up to 25 pounds. The single item order yellow totes will then be routed to the singles pack lines for packaging. The multiple item orders contain more than one item per order. If your multiple item order of six items are all in this building, then it's possible that your order is being picked up by up to six different people picking items from six different robots, which all need to be brought together for your single shipment. Your items will be placed in any available yellow tote and routed to our multiple item order assembly stations. It's at that point that we will reap in your individual items into one customer order. Then, once all of your items are together, it's packing time. To help improve efficiency and also reduce environmental impact of the packaging, the size of box or envelope is automatically selected by a machine learning algorithm. Even the correct length of tape is determined by machine learning and automatically dispensed. If needed, protected packaging materials are added. A barcode is placed on the package, it's sealed up, and away we go. That barcode will be important for the next stage that we call SLAM. But what if I order two items and those items are in two different FCs? Do I get one box or two? The answer is, it depends. Our first priority is to get you the item at the date and time that we promised when you placed the order. The second priority is to do that at the lowest cost possible and with the lowest environmental impact so we can continue to pass on lower prices to you. With those two things in mind, we use machine learning to figure out if it's optimal to ship to you from each FC in two different packages or ship an item from one FC to the other, combine them there, and ship to you in a single package. You're now seeing our SLAM line in process. SLAM is an acronym which stands for Scan, Label, Apply, and Manifest. The technology here scans that barcoded sticker placed on the package in pack and immediately knows to print the correct shipping label on the package. This is the first time your name and address are placed on the package. So how do we know which carrier to use? That's also determined by machine learning. In the space of a few seconds, an algorithm is run to determine the optimal delivery carrier to get you the package on time and at the lowest cost possible. There are also quality control measures in place here. Following this, the box is weighed and the weight is checked against the item's known weight. If the weight is off, the order will be routed to a special location. From there, an associate will open the package and take the applicable action. We're now entering the final stages. After passing all of those quality control measures, the package is routed onto another series of conveyors to a location where the label is scanned. The conveyors then automatically send each package down the correct chute where it will be packaged on a semi-trailer for shipment to another FC, or a sortation center for final delivery to you. There are approximately 17.5 miles of conveyor belts in this FC. In order to run reliably, every single day, they're monitored via AWS IoT services. AWS IoT Greengrass helps here by allowing devices to act locally on the data they generate while still taking advantage of the cloud. Events, in particular from the machinery, are sent to Lambda functions in AWS that trigger step functions. These workflows then coordinate RME operations to maintain the equipment, perform inspections, replace faulty motors and belts, and other types of activities. We even collaborate with some of our automation suppliers using AWS ML models to predict equipment failures and address issues before they arise. Thank you for visiting our Amazon Sortable Robotics Fulfillment Center. We hope you enjoyed our virtual tour. There are many functional areas when it comes to manufacturing. These may include creation and hosting of websites, running analytic workloads, services like Amazon EC2, serverless services like Lambda, content delivery services like CloudFront can all help. You may also need to design, validate, and release your products or services. 
you can opt for services like Amazon EC2, Amazon ECS or EKS, Lambda, Amazon Workspaces, and many more. It is important to develop your supply base and manage warehousing, production supply, and materials. Services in the space of IoT, data lakes, analytics, and edge are major players here. You can also use services like Pinpoint, Personalize, Location Service to help with personalized marketing and push notification services. Now let us look at a few case studies. GE is a digital industrial company transforming industry with software-defined machines and solutions that merge the digital and physical worlds, leading to connected, responsive, and predictive results for their customers. GE had to reduce their overall operations cost and improve productivity. GE is migrating more than 9,000 workloads to AWS while reducing its data center footprint from 34 to four over three years. As an example, the GE oil and gas division has started this journey by migrating more than half of its core applications to AWS while achieving a 52% reduction in its total cost of ownership. iRobot created the home robot cleaning category with the introduction of its Roomba vacuuming robot in 2002. To connect its Roomba vacuum to the internet, iRobot needed to build a highly scalable, high availability cloud application and an Internet of Things backend platform. iRobot built a serverless architecture based on AWS IoT, AWS Lambda, and more than 20 other AWS services. They were able to manage these serverless applications with less than 10 employees and transformed from a hardware vendor company to one that relies on cloud to support its IoT backend. LC Electronics is a multinational electronics company. As demand of Wi-Fi enabled applications were increasing, it became difficult to handle this with on-premise servers and LG was looking to migrate its IoT platform to an easily manageable, secure and cost-effective infrastructure. LG started using AWS IoT to reduce management time for the IoT platform and connected home appliances to the IoT platform using AWS IoT and serverless architecture, storing and analyzing data through Amazon Elastic Cash and DynamoDB. LG achieved 80% reduction in platform development cost, connecting tens of millions of home appliances. With AWS, you can focus on your factory operations and not the infrastructure. Using various AWS services, you can collect data in various formats and frequencies, which can be processed and stored for later analysis. You can run SQL queries or use pre-built models to make inferences and predictions. You can integrate the insights with your production and maintenance systems to improve your operational efficiency and lower cost. Samsung Engineering uses hexagons plan design solutions for 2D and 3D design. The challenge was to manage the complex and costly on-premise infrastructure, deploy in each region, and address latency and access issues. Samsung Engineering leveraged AppStream 2.0 to run hexagon design tool in a virtual machine optimized for the case and network state to serve worldwide users. They were able to cut down purchasing and maintenance costs by 20% while speeding up deployment from months to days. Digital transformation enables industrial customers to maximize productivity and asset availability and lower costs. To do this, industrial customers aim to liberate data from their legacy OT systems and leverage new tools in the cloud like machine learning and artificial intelligence to glean new insights from their data. Coca-Cola ISEC wanted to use a digital twin to develop solutions that would improve asset optimization, 
enhance operational performance and avoid downtime as well as bring more intelligence to its manufacturing processes. They build a robust digital advanced analytics solution for its production line sanitation process in two months on AWS, improving process efficiency and environmental sustainability. This helped them save 20% on energy and 9% on water annually. In the last leg of our journey, we have looked at what is AWS Cloud, how AWS can help overcome the challenges of cloud adoption, and a few functional areas and case studies. Now that we have a glimpse of how AWS plays a role with manufacturing SMBs, let us look at what comes next. Sign up for the AWS Sambal Summit to accelerate your cloud adoption. Spread across two days, this virtual summit will focus on key topics around small business digitization, exports and startup enablement, innovation, skilling, and job creation. Interact with service providers, technology solution providers, logistics, banks, SaaS providers, payment gateways, Amazon programs, and much more. Access keynotes, panel discussions, fireside chats, master classes, and startup pitches. Let us look at a few lightweight use cases. Ensure secure storage and backup. With AWS, you can scale IT resources on demand with 99.99999% durability, operate with global scale security, and run machine learning and analytics on backup. Host your website on AWS. This service is ideal for simpler workloads, quick deployments, and getting started on AWS. It is designed to help you start small and then scale as you grow. Easily deploy a web application with a few clicks, create and customize your blog, e-commerce or personal website with pre-configured applications like WordPress, and easily integrate it with external sources and run analytics to measure performance. Achieve high performance, virtually unlimited scale automatically with fully managed service with no upfront cost. Migrate and free up IT resources to achieve lower costs. Customers typically save in approximately 30% on their infrastructure. Greater staff productivity. An IDC study of AWS customers show a 60% improvement in productivity for IT infrastructure staff and a 25% higher developer productivity. Momentum. Our most successful customers like Capital One tell us that once they made bold plans to migrate to the cloud, it created the momentum for their staff to learn new skills and forced needed changes to their processes. And Agility. Customers who adopt modern application development practices in the cloud are delivering on average three times the number of features. Gain faster, deeper insights with forecasting. Forecasting is the science of predicting the future. Over forecasting leads to wasted resources and under forecasting leads to lost opportunity. Hence, Accurate forecasting is critical for delivering on customer promises. Rapidly improve customer engagement. AWS enables you to understand your customers with user management capabilities, reach customers with audience management capabilities, send the right message at the right time to target the right customers, reach customers in their preferred channel, and measure if your engagement was successful with our analytics. The AWS Migration Acceleration Program, or MAP, is a comprehensive and proven cloud migration program based upon AWS's experience migrating thousands of enterprise customers to the cloud. MAP provides tools that reduce cost and automate and accelerate execution, tailor the training approaches and content, expertise from AWS professional services, a global partner ecosystem, and AWS investment. MAP also uses a proven three-phase framework, which includes ASSIS, Mobilize, 
and migrate and modernize to help you achieve your migration goals. The migration readiness assessment helps you identify gaps along the six dimensions of the AWS cloud adoption framework, business, process, people, platform, operations, and security. The mobilize phase helps you build an operational foundation for your migration with the goal of fixing the capability gaps identified in the assessment phase. AWS Migration Services, AWS Professional Services Team, and Migration Partners help you execute the large-scale migration plan developed during the mobilize phase. Organizations today are in search of vetted solutions and architectural guidance to rapidly solve business challenges. Whether customers prefer off-the-shelf deployments or customizable architectures, the AWS Solutions Library carries solutions built by AWS and AWS partners for a broad range of industry and technology use cases. Workshops are hands-on events designed to teach or introduce practical skills, techniques, or concepts which can help you solve business problems. Let us now look at how to quickly launch a small application on an EC2 instance. Let us now look at how to quickly launch a small application on an EC2 instance. I have logged in to the AWS Management Console, specifically the EC2 instance console. Let us now launch an EC2 instance. I will select the necessary details for the instance. I will give it a name, an AMI, which will determine details like the operating system and application servers, the instance type, which will decide the memory, the vCPU, etc., a key pair to SSH, and a couple of networking features and firewall rules to allow access to the machine, and launch the instance. We will have to wait for the instance to finish setup. Now let us connect to the instance created. Let us now install HTTPD service. Let me just change the directory. And now let me create the index.html file. Now let us start the service. And that's it folks. Let us now open our website by opening the IP in the browser. And there you go. Our website built on Amazon EC2, which is the virtual machine on AWS, is ready for use. I hope you have all had an insightful journey exploring the cloud essentials for manufacturing SMBs. A huge thanks to all of you for being here.